Hope you're having an amazing day. Here I have the Pure Loop 2FX from Be Quiet. This is a 360 millimeter AIO water cooling. There's also the options of the 280 and the 240 if the 360 isn't gonna fit in your case. So this thing comes with uh, three light wing fans, which are also ARGB. We're gonna check that out after. And pretty much this works with uh, any CPU here. Uh, we can see here some of the technical information. Uh, it does work with the 1700 Intel and then AMD AM5. Pretty much you're all set when it comes to that. Uh, just a few things before we go ahead and open up the box here. We're gonna go ahead and do some uh, benchmarks on a Intel 13900K. Uh, just to see how this uh, performs. I'm assuming with the 360 millimeter, it's gonna do pretty well. We're gonna check that out after. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. So one thing to note, uh, when you see the liquid here, uh, you don't really need to go ahead and put anything here because it does come pre-filled. Uh, but later on, uh, if for any reason you wanna go ahead and uh, drain and refill, you can go ahead and do that here. And uh, one thing is looking at the back here, everything uh, looks nice. Uh, definitely you wanna remove this and uh, <laughs> before you go ahead and mount this. Um, this has happened before where this was forgotten. And then the, once you go ahead and turn your PC on, uh, the temperatures kind of rise right away to the 60s, 70s and up. And uh, so definitely go ahead and remove this before you mount everything on. And uh, looking here in the bag, we do also get the paste here. So if you don't have any thermal paste, it is included here as well. And uh, looking at the radiator, it's not that thick. So if you have a smaller case, uh, this is gonna be a better option for you. Uh, just uh, to let you know the width of this, so let's just go ahead and check it out here. So around uh, 27 millimeters. And uh, once you go ahead and put the fans on, uh, definitely that's gonna increase, uh, almost like double that. So just keep that in mind, uh, like how are big your case is, just to make sure this fits. Another thing Be Quiet does very well is their fans. And here you can definitely feel the quality, even though it came included in a, like an AIO, it's still like very good fans. Here it's like we have the rubberized, so you're not getting all those vibrations. And just like the whole quality, it feels good. It's like, doesn't feel cheap at all. It's like a premium fan. So right now let's go ahead and mount everything and we're gonna do some uh, benchmarks and just see how this uh, performs. First things first, uh, we are going to do some benchmarks on turbo mode and non-turbo mode. I know there is gonna be someone that wants to see both uh, results there in temperature and performance. So jumping to the non-turbo mode on idle, we can see we're getting around uh, 36 Celsius on max there. And uh, looking at the clock speeds, uh, this is gonna go up to three gigahertz uh, with the 13900K and uh, right now you, the utilization is at zero so you can see the idle temperatures now now we're jumping to the cinebench r15 uh, we get a score of 3246 and uh, when we're looking at the temperatures uh, we're getting around uh, 42 celsius 43 so that's really good to see especially if you're doing a long hour of gaming uh, that's not gonna heat up your room that much. And the clock speeds, we can see it went up to three gigahertz there and utilization at 100%. Next, uh, we're jumping to the Cinebench R20 where we get 81.44 score and uh, looking at the temperatures, uh, almost uh, kind of the same here. So almost 44 Celsius and uh, utilization 100% at three gigahertz. Jumping to the turbo mode uh, on idle, we can see the max here we're getting around 47 celsius looking at the performance cores and efficiency core around 33 celsius uh, that is kind of matching the non-turbo mode but the, when we're looking at the whole package definitely a little bit higher here um, the clock speeds are definitely going to be higher and the uh, utilization here as we can see it's at zero but still the temperatures is climbing up there because any movement you made is gonna jump back and forth Looking at Cinebench R15 in turbo mode, uh, definitely a huge difference in score here. We get 6098 compared to the 3246. 
so that's uh, almost double the score there and but it also doubles the temperatures uh, we are getting around 96 celsius in the whole package there and uh, we can see that clock speeds it went to 5.5 gigahertz and utilization at 100 percent but one thing is if you're gaming long hours on this uh your room is definitely you're gonna feel it getting hot especially if you're gaming in summer next we're jumping to cinebench r20 where we get a score of uh, 15,380 compared to the 8144 on non-turbo mode so that's another like huge difference there in score because it's going from the 3 gigahertz to the 5.5 gigahertz here we can see the temperature is definitely going up there as well reached up to 100 celsius that's definitely something you want to stay away from if you're especially if you're keeping this on at 100 i know when you're gaming you're not really using your cpu at 100 it's mainly more of your gpu and all that bottleneck and all that stuff really hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any questions about this uh, aio and if there were any benchmarks you would want to see on this water cooling or a new one go ahead and leave a comment below i'll be more than happy to take a look at it and i will see you on the next uh, video